Hi everybody, now I'm going to educate, discuss um, ways to help you stop leaking at night or waking up at night due to urgency. So it's called nocturia or nighttime urination. Women really shouldn't urinate at night to under the age of 50, um, especially before menopause. Once you get past that 50 mark, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit different, but if you're more getting in the later decades of life, you get you can wake up once, that's what they consider normal. If you're really before that, and if you're, if you're pregnant, you also get, you can wake up once or twice um but really if you're if you're under that you're not pregnant you should be able to go through the whole night and not have to wake up to urinate so if you're leaking um urine most of the time is when people get up they have a full bladder they wake up as they're getting up they can't make it to the bathroom and then they leak um if you're leaking without even bedwetting is a is a different ball of wax um we're going with the waking up, leaking on your way to the bathroom, so that urgency. So you don't want to shrink the size of your bladder. So your bladder is a muscle, and if you're going too frequently during the day and you're shrinking the size of your bladder, then it's giving you, it's spasming on you, waking you up, saying, I have to, I have to go to the bathroom. So you have to make sure that during the day you're holding your frequency, so you should be able to hold it for two to three hours. Make sure your bladder has a nice capacity. You do want to stop off, um, stop drinking your fluids by seven, eight o'clock at night, two to three hours before bedtime. Put your feet up if you have... Um, if you're on any sort of diuretic, Lasix, um, you want that fluid to go into your bladder before you go to bed. And then you need to have strong pelvic floor muscles, okay? So the stronger your pelvic floor muscles are, the more um, the stronger Kegel you can do. It should inhibit these muscles from spasming and, spasming and waking you up at night, okay? So you gotta make sure you're doing a proper Kegel. 10 seconds, 10 times, 10 quick flicks, up to 90 Kegels a day for the long ones. 10 quick ones, I guess 30 times a day. 10 quick ones, three times a day, 30. Sorry, it's confusing. Go see your pelvic floor, local pelvic floor physical therapist. Send me a line here. I'm Dr. Lauren Collier Peterson, doctor of physical therapy, clinical director here at Physical Therapy and Balance Centers of Oklahoma City. Have a good day. Bye bye.